Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I will share you the sample equation about uh, the offshore oil and gas procedure that commonly asked during the evaluation. Uh, it will be about the 500 meter shaft vision procedure and S2S gas procedure when alongside the platform. Okay, general requirement for 500 meter safety zone. Um, please be remember when we are approaching or already inside the 500 meter safety zone, at, at the maximum speed where when we are entering the 500 meter safety zone is maximum three knot and maximum speed within 100 meter is a half knot only. <clears throat> And then, um, no vessel can approach an offshore structure by head-on. Only turn on or beam on are allowed. And then, when changing work phase on installation, uh, the move must be properly planned, uh, taking into account the changes in prevailing weather condition. And then, uh, any significant change in position has to be made by uh, taking vessel well clear of the installation and then making a fresh approach to the required work phase. And then in case uh, the equipment failure occur with the vessel control system, uh, the vessel shall leave the 500 meter safety zone. The vessel uh, not be allowed to enter 500 meter zone until the first, the cause of failure has been identified. And then second, uh, the appropriate remedial action were taken to prevent the occurrence. And the third, uh, the vessel was confirmed fully a personnel. And then uh, the vessel uh, shall be instructed to work uh, on this side. And then when weather set working is proposed to the master, the master has overall authority to veto the operation. Okay, let's go to the sample question. What will you do before entering offshore installation? Here we go to answer. Before entering the 500 meter safety zone, the first thing we have to do is obtain permission from field service or rig foreman, and then a vessel is to complete stop and test the both uh, forward and aft monitoring control, and then we have to complete the 500 meter zone checklist and record it in the logbook and. We have to identify the escape route of the platform and then we have to conduct toolbox talk with the deck crew. To when uh, inside the 500 meter safety zone, no head on uh, when approaching. Uh, use manual steering, do not use auto steering. Um, the maximum speed uh, entering 500 meter zone is 3 knot and within 100 uh, meter zone is half knot. And then, uh, no closer than a fourth vessel length, length uh, I will stop the vessel in the water uh, to ascertain wind and tide effect on the vessel at that location. Okay, next question. What are the names and location of Aramco oil field? There are Ten uh, oil and gas field uh, under Aramco concession. So the first is the Shafania oil field, Marjan oil field, Manifa oil field, Zulu oil field, Hasbah gas field, Arabia gas field, Karan gas field, Berry oil field, uh, Abu Sapa oil field, and then the last one is Khatif oil field. Okay, what is uh, light and fog signal for oil platform? The signal for uh, oil platform is a Morse code uniform. It is too short followed by one long. This means you are running into danger. Okay, question about the S2S. How to identify an S2S emission? S2S or hydrogen sulfide is a colorless and flammable gas and highly poisonous. 
that smells like rotten eggs. Uh, S2S is heavier than air, easily sprayed by the wind and soluble in water. In case the S2S gas exceeds, uh, it will be detected by the S2S detector, uh, either portable or fixed system. Okay, next question. What action to be taken during tied up the rig or platform in case of gas alert? Well, uh, we have to start the emergency gas alarm. It is uh, too long, followed by one shot, and then yeah, immediately to wear the emergency escape breathing device or SCBA and assist the other crew to wear the SCBA. And then all crew must proceed to the uh, master station for a gas alarm. It is uh, on the bridge and all portholes, doors, ventilation must be closed and switched off. Um, crew with the proper SCBA and portable gas detector um, proceed to the unmooring the vessel and then the broadcast information to the other station by VHF radio, inform the location, time, wind direction, and report it to the port control and field service as per emergency response plan. Uh, the potential S2S hazard can be substantially reduced by operating the vessel protective water spray system and also it can be reduced by uh, ship firefighting monitors uh, in full spray pattern. Okay, next question. If you're alongside to the platform and you found out that there is a leaking, what will you do? I will inform the field service about the leak and report the slick covered area. It is the percentage within this area and the color. Is it black, rainbow, or light seen? Okay, uh, that's all the sample question about oil and gas procedure. Thank you for watching. See you on next video.